guys, Martinus again from Staying Realty. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, staying at home, and enjoying this uh, this lockdown period that we've got. Hopefully you've got uh, some work to do that you can do from home. Um, this is the first video that we're gonna to dedicate to a specific property on our website, one that we've recently listed. We, on the previous videos, we've gone through the functionality of the website, and we've also done um, a short video on the rentals that we've currently have. But this one, like I say, would be dedicated to a specific property that we've recently listed. Now, if you see any of the properties on the website that you're interested in, um, I had a chat to a couple of other people uh, yesterday and the day before, and it's absolutely possible to obviously make an offer on a property subject to viewing. So during this time, uh, obviously we're not allowed to take our clients. We can't, so you can't actually go and physically see the property. But whether it's uh, one that we've got uh, listed for sale or one that we've got to let. If you see a property that you like, instead of losing out, um, there is a possibility of doing an application or an offer, an offer to purchase, which we can do through email. We can go through the photos with you. We can go through the description and all the specifics of the property with you. So if you feel this is really a property that you're interested in and you don't want to lose out, make an offer subject to viewing uh, as soon as lockdown is over or we've got a bit of grace period or something that we can actually go and view the property, then um, at least you've got the foot in the door first. So just keep that in mind. It is, it's 100% possible. We just make it a condition of the sale and, uh, and at least you don't lose out. So yeah, so let's start with, uh, with a specific property that we have in mind. I'm just gonna go to the website and we'll take it from there. Right, let's have a look. Property we're gonna look at today is um, on our website let's just go to the site stay in realty got it there as a shortcut on our front page on the top row property in honeydew grove this is a three bedroom two and a half bathroom duplex the property is listed for one million eight hundred and fifty thousand in the description section on the left um, you'll find all the necessary uh, specifications if you want to call it so you'll see how many bedrooms bathrooms living areas garages staff quarters um, the size of the actual property that would be under roof and then the size of the stand now being sectional title we don't actually have the specific size of the earth because uh, it's only sectional title so we're not uh, privy to that information um, but we do have the size of the actual property uh, as well as any uh, any additions that was that was done to the property maybe by the current owner or by previous owners then also quite important is your rates and taxes that is what you are paying to Joburg Municipality or the council and the levy that is what you're paying to the managing agent of the complex um, and the levy in these sectional title complexes we'll do a separate video on that but that is basically for your building insurance, for all the communal property, uh, upkeep of the communal property, security, all of those kind of issues, unless you've got specific security in the property yourself. Um, you'll see this one has got some CCTV cameras and so on. That will be an additional cost that you'll obviously have with that security company. All right, so let's get cracking. So this is the, this is actually the back garden of the property um, there's not a lot of grass this is really a low maintenance property for someone that's not interested in having grass um, you do have some flower beds and you've got a nice little splash pool and you've got a veranda which is covered uh, like a little outside patio um, as well as the pool which is heated and like i said it's a duplex so all your bedrooms are upstairs all your living areas are downstairs which is also a bonus and you've got a back door over there, which is also covered. If you look at the next, this is the front view of the property, double lock up garage, obviously with your entrance, also under roof. The complex name here is Lavender Grove. That is in Honeydew Grove. In, um, it's basically adjacent to Honeydew Manor and Volgievel. So a little bit more of the back garden, uh, covered awnings over the over the sliding door very good security right around the house extra lighting um, and an exceptionally neat property 
front entrance uh, this is where you would go up to the top this is almost this is like a like a reception area inside the property with your guest bathroom over there so this is taken from the front door front entrance that's the front door with the front entrance and your guest bathroom over there this is the top section so when you come up the stairs this is where all your bedrooms are so additional security nice lighting uh, everything in this house has basically been redone from light fittings uh, to painting. Uh, the floors are extremely neat. There's really nothing that needs to be done in this property except moving in and making it making it your home. Lounge and dining room at the bottom. So you've got an open plan lounge, TV lounge area and a dining room. And then you've got a, a covered patio section uh, which has got a slab at the top which is like a briar room and an additional like a formal lounge. So that's just another view from the lounge and dining room. Another view from lounge and dining room as well with your kitchen in the corner, all open plan. This is the former lounge area, which is also like a covered patio uh, at, the, at the bottom with sliding doors going out to the pool. And this is taken from the, from the braai area. We've got an indoor braai, uh, which the, the current owner isn't using as a, as a braai. Likes to braai outside, but you've got an indoor braai covered area with your sliding door going out so as we go through the property this is just all so you'll see we've got it listed as four living areas which is all at at the bottom then the kitchen this is just the tv lounge lounge and dining room guest bathroom so this is the one under the stairs and then your kitchen so space in the kitchen for one appliance plus standard fridge. Behind the fridge is also a water connection. So one can use that for an additional appliance and then make another plan with a kitchen, just uh, with the fridge just around the corner, which I'll show you. Granite tops, which is quite nice. And then you've got your cherry wood cupboards going nicely with the, with the darker tiles. Lots of cupboard space all the way around. Space for your dustbin. Uh, you've got your extractor there above the oven. And like I say, granite tops, very, very neat. Um, and the dark finishes actually fits nicely into the house. All right, so there you've got an idea of the kitchen. Then the stairs, as you go up the staircase, you will see that there's quite good security right around with blinds. Blinds are obviously a fixture as well as the security. So all the security features, the lighting, fit, the light fittings, the blinds, all of that are fixtures and are staying in the property. So this is the main ensuite of the master bedroom um, with a walk-in dresser. Large like mirror type doors that go into a dressing area, which is literally like almost like a separate room with all your, so that's why we've left it open there so that you can see the, the, size, of it, the size of it. You can literally walk in and, and close the, the cupboard behind you if you need to. Um, lots of cupboard space, got a little coffee corner here in the, in, the, in the corner of the main bedroom. Little coffee corner there, space for a TV, also good security and laminate floors in, in all of the bedrooms. This is your main ensuite, corner bath and then you've got a shower in this corner. So there's a corner bath and a shower. There's the shower, corner bath, also very neat, tile to the ceiling. So if you look at the pictures, the bathroom is tiled to the ceiling, so no painting needed. Um, also helps with maintenance, so it's a, low, a, a bit more low maintenance. Nice fixtures and fittings. These photos always look funny if you just look at it on the website, but if you open it like that, that's your, your fixtures and fittings. And then here we go to the second, the second bedroom. So I would say this is the third bedroom because the second one is almost has got its own also like a pajama lounge. So this is the smallest bedroom that you've got upstairs with built-in cupboards, laminate floors, also very neat and spacious. And this is the guest, well, the, the, the second bathroom upstairs. So your guest bathroom is downstairs and this is the second one with a bath that's been closed up and, and made into a shower as well. That's the shower. And this is then I would say the second bedroom. So the second bedroom has been extended. So you have a bedroom area and then you have a whole pajama lounge or lounge TV lounge area where your cupboards are on the front. 
So it's almost like a second main bedroom with quite a lot of space. Very neat, very spacious. Um, and then you'll see we've got listed here your staff quarters. So these units were originally built by the developers all with domestic accommodation attached to the property. Some of them have a door. This one's got a door into the garage, but it's also got a door leading out to the outside of the property. So it doesn't go into the property itself by the lounge like some of them do. This one goes into the garage or to the outside. So you've got a separate entrance and it's got a domestic, uh, it's got a, a bathroom as well with a shower, basin, toilet. It's got carpet at the bottom, but there you can see the size of it with built-in cupboards and there you go into the garage. And that door here, just to explain to you, it goes out into the, into the back of the property, into the garden. So once again, and that's the complex, Lavender Grove, a bit more photos of the outside. Very, very nice pool. It's so inviting when you go there, you just want to take a dip. That's your, uh, your, your patio area with louver, louver, louver roof, which opens and closes. Very good lighting, very good security all the way around. And like I've said a couple of times, an exceptionally neat property. So this one is available for viewing. The owner has already bought another property. And as soon as lockdown is finished, we can go and have a look. Um, if, like I mentioned before, if anyone is interested, we could even take offers subject to viewing. The owner is absolutely open to that. So just give us a call and let us know. I hope you enjoyed the, the walk through the property. Um, all our other listings are over there and we'll go through some of them a little bit more in, in other videos. Thanks very much. Right, so thanks very much for having a look at that video. Um, like I say, if there's any properties on our website that you want more clarity of, um, if you want to have a look at any of our documentation that we've got, offer to purchases, lease agreements, um, we've got a lot of info that we can send you with regards to buying a property, selling a property, what, uh, what are the important factors that you need to take into account. Let us know. Just uh, send us an email or WhatsApp. Uh, both of our numbers are there for myself and Janita. Um, let us know. We are available. We're not hiding away in, in lockdown, not doing any kind of work. So we're available for you. Discuss it with us and we'll see if we can assist you. Thanks and looking forward to see you with our next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.